again, the big problem with all the lip buttoning now. I kind of like yeah. hearing all these different perspectives, whether I agree with them or not. And, you, you, just, know, you can't silence people. You got to let them fuck up. If they fuck up, and, you, you know, there's nothing wrong with apologizing either. If you fuck up and you say something wrong, you, it's nothing wrong with apologizing. I, I don't disagree with that. I think context is everything. Yeah. It depends on where I am when I said it. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm on a comedy stage and you fucking print a, right. a joke I wrote like it was a stump speech. Well, exactly. That's a fucked up thing to it's do. It's a fucked up thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, but, but you know, if I'm at a press conference and I whoopsie poopsie, <laughs> then there you go. Sorry, everybody. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, especially with stand-ups. I mean, Jesus Christ, how many times is stand-ups just going out to dinner, having a couple of drinks? We say the most ridiculous shit ever. It's the greatest. That's like one of the joys of my life. Now, think about being a politician. Now, who was signing up for that shit oh, now? All oh these God. Republicans talking all that shit, and I'm not trying to be partisan, but when the motherfuckers rushed the Capitol, did any of you guys go to greet your constituents? Mm -hmm. No, you ran to the bunker. Yeah. I, I feel like, you know, but constituents aren't like fans. Did you ever see those videos of cops opening the doors? and letting people in and opening the gates and letting people through i did what the fuck is that i don't I've never know had that fact, explained there was there was an investigation about that i don't know the results of it but i'd heard about it you know what's ominous about it is you got to think there's probably like 300 cops on duty capitol hill right mm -hmm. by the end of it the uh, dc police get called in homeland security gets called in, you know fbi's and so now there's a, a thousand guns inside of the Capitol, you know, it was like a, it that could have went a million different ways. You have members accusing other members of Congress of, of giving tours and showing people sensitive areas. And, you know, this kind of suspicion within law enforcement, within government, uh, it, it's a very ominous sign. Yeah. This type of partisanship is a very ominous sign that, you know, this lexicon now, so binary, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, this yeah. is not doing us any favors. You know, the, the, in a perfect world, the best idea wins. Right. And, and, and in this current situation, I don't know that people even agree on what the truth is. That's a problem. It's a real problem. Chris Rock had a great bit about it. What do you say? Remember that bit about gangs, like that people just join gangs? No. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? It's just a, I, I don't want to fuck it up but it's basically how whether they're a democrat or or or, or, or a republican they really just get into gangs it is that yeah they yeah. just decide that this is this is my this is my gang right and and their constituents are worried that mm -hmm. they're feckless and, and yep. like you say the speed of information is so much faster now than the speed of bureaucracy yeah that's that's a problem it'd be like if you problem. turned the air condition on your car and it came on four months later we needed it. We, we needed the heat right now, bro. Especially with the stimulus checks, right? Like, how long did it take before they actually sent checks out in the mail? Remember all the talk about it? Oh, I do. It took forever. I wonder why they never. I guess I know why. I was gonna say it was a stupid question. Why they never suspended the gift tax? Like, if I wanted to give my brother or my sister or my friend some money during right. a time like this, why tax that transaction? Right. They want the money. Well, not just they want the money. Think about how rich people would move their money around. Of course if they unfettered that yeah shit. it's it's the greed is killing us <sighs> their greed our greed it's killing yeah. us it's not good nah it's not good at all but you know it's again like what we were talking about before like you would give the taxes up if you felt like it was for something you right know, you really felt like it did a, like if you knew that your tax money was really enhancing the world really helping right instead of going to some fucked up we're bringing Red crowns tape. to the ghetto. What? <laughs> Why are you doing that with the money? Because kids need crowns in the ghetto. Mm. It's like, who's prioritizing this shit? I don't know, bro. I mean, I, not to be cynical, but this this thing. This thing it's tricky. This one we're doing now. I, I hope everyone does anything that they can do to help foster trust amongst each other. Yeah. I'm not talking about government and politics. I don't give a fuck if someone likes Trump or anything. I know a lot of good, decent, hardworking people that have political ideas that I think are nonsense. But I don't I don't conflate that with their character. I don't conflate that with culture. 
these things are all different issues. They, you know, what they say, throw the baby out of the bathwater. You can't do that. Like, I'm not going to throw a whole person away because they have four ideas I don't like.